I miss not hearing the birds. I lost my hearing very, very quickly. You, you can't believe it's happening. You think, oh, did I hear something? But no, you don't. It, it really is frightening. This is Barbara. She lives with her husband, Tony, and they've been married for 53 years. What's funny? Hmm? What's funny? But for the past year and a half, they've not been able to communicate properly. Crashed on the waters. Because very suddenly, Barbara became profoundly deaf. I can't hear anything round out here. I just miss my old life in general, really, yeah. Not sort of hearing people or knowing what they're talking about. That's quite difficult. Deafness is a lonely world. Barbara lost her hearing because just one small part of her ear stopped working. When sound enters a healthy ear, it gets funneled through to a coiled up structure called the cochlea, a spiral shaped cavity containing some 16,000 specialized cells called hair cells. As the sound wave moves through the cochlea, the cell's hair like protrusions are displaced, causing the cell to send electrical impulses along nerve fibers that are destined for the brain. But Barbara's hair cells are no longer working, which means that although the rest of her ear is healthy, her brain is completely starved of sound. I miss my independence. What I try not to do is get down. I try to think positive. How are you feeling about okay. today? Mm, I'm OK, yeah. OK. How about you? You yeah. a bit nervous, I suppose. A month ago, Barbara was fitted with a cochlear implant. An array of electrodes has been threaded into her cochlea that will take over the role of her faulty hair cells. And today, at Southampton University, it will be switched on and tested for the first time. So I'm going to switch it yeah. on, OK? Can you hear anything? Not no. yet, no. Just going to bring it up. Nothing. Very faint. Very, very faint. Very gradual, isn't it? Yeah. A bit more? Yes. I'm going to keep talking as I bring it up, OK? Just going to keep bringing it up. Um, how did you get here today, oh, Tony? I can hear... can't understand. I can almost hear my own voice again. <laughs> How's the volume now? How's the volume? Oh, yes. The volume. The volume. How's the volume now, you said? Yes? Yeah. What can you hear? <laughs> can you hear me? Yes, I can, can you? hear you. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For the first time in over a year, like Barbara's brain is receiving sound signals. Okay. That's amazing. When you take it off, I can hear nothing. <laughs> that is... Amazing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They make me cry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'm back. <laughs> so you're noticing oh, the difference. Incredible. <laughs> Stop it, you're going to make me cry. Yeah. No. Thank you. <laughs> oh dear. I didn't think it would be this quick. No, you're doing really well. I thought for my birthday in July. I Will might you? better hear that. <laughs> what are we going to have for dinner tonight? Some champagne? 
Okay. Stop it! I made you cry again. <laughs> Barbara is no longer lost in silence. By translating sound into electrical signals, the implant replicates the cochlea's key job, returning Barbara to a world full of sound. <laughs> 